Hi traders, I just made over $1,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. TAL is down 3.2%. Uh, I like the fact that it kept down, then came up, and now it's coming under the lows. I should have shorted like 7 cents higher. I'm shorting now 4,000 shares. The reversal point was a little bit higher, but I'm, I'm still fine with it as long as it comes down under the lows. I like MIK, really like this one. It's down 15%. When stock is down 15%, doesn't usually have much of a choice. Should gap and go, meaning continue to move lower. I'm about to short it. 4,000 shares. Getting uh, ready here to the 1850 shorting now. Okay. This should be the point where it reaches the lows. That's where my target should be. Well, TAL is not doing so well. I'm going to use a hard stop here. To move over 40.11. As you can see, I have a stop order. I'm going to click the buy button right now. So I have an automated stop if it moves up to 40.11. I'm a little bit concerned. It uh, didn't really come down under the lows. So I should have a hard stop here. I don't usually use a hard stop, but this one is the first mover. So I'm a bit concerned. Maybe I should have moved out by now. I'm not sure. Well, I have a hard stop. If it's going to trigger, then I'm out and it, oh, oh, look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> My stop just triggered. I'm so glad I had a, a hard stop in the system. Sometimes you need a hard stop just so the system will take you out faster. Oh, look at that. Talking about having stops. It doesn't matter if you have a hard stop or a technical or, 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 or mental stop. Look at that. You just need to have a stop. Look at this move. Amazing. I'm out at a loss. TLRD is down 15%. It looks very nice. I'm about to short 4,000 shares. I'm looking for a move under 28. Now I got it. 28 shorted 4,000 shares. And again, I'm looking for a stock that is gapping down, moving up, and then reversing. You always want to see the buyers out of the picture. See this green candle here, the second one that you're seeing there, is the green candle that shows you that the buyers are out of the pictures. And then comes this, the third one, which is the red. I shorted it. I'm looking for a breakdown. It actually just touched a new low. It looks great right now. Look at the volume growing. It's a very, very good sign. And it's coming. And it's coming. Okay, come on, come on. Come just a bit more. Come just a bit more. I promise I'll let you go. Under the recent low, yes. Here we go. Having a nice trade in TLRD. Getting ready for a partial. At any pullback, watch the buyers now. Did you see the, the buyers moving up a little bit? Okay, just click the button. I'm out. Just left 300 shares. I'm having good trade. Up $1,900 in TLRD. Look at the loser of TAL earlier. Terrible. M-I-K, shorted this one earlier at 18.50, I'm up 15, 50 cents, here comes the first pullback now, I got a partial of approximately 40 cents, another winner in M-I-K, PVTL is up 7.6%, when stock is up that much, people are watching it. And I want to go wrong now, over 30.50. That's a nice reversal point. Although the high is 30.59, you should have seen that. I went long before the highs, expecting it's going to move over the highs. And here we go. Just moved over the highs. ETSY, same story. But this one's up 26%. And that means, again, everybody's watching it. I'm getting ready to go long, going long now. Before it moved to the highs expecting it's going to move over the highs, and it did. PVTL is getting close to my target. Moved in at 30.56. It's up 40-something cents now. I'm getting ready. Well, pullback. I took a little bit less, 30-something cents. Nice trade in PVTL, up $600. Well, ETSY is not doing so good, but it reversed here, and I want to add 400 shares because it's uptrending. It looks fine. So I just added to my 1,000 shares another 400 shares, expecting that this reversal that you see here is going to take me higher. So ETSY hopefully is going to get back to the highs and some more. It looks good. 
I love MYL. MYL is down only 3%, but you can't beat this technical formation here. Look at the breakdown here under 4025. I'm about to show 4,000 shares. I'm just expecting a quick scalp, a 20 cent scalp, shorting now. Come on, come down, come down. It didn't really break down yet. I was hoping to see it under 25, so I thought I... Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a quick move. I'm looking for 20 cents. That, that is all I'm looking for. It bounced. I missed the right entry. Can you please come down? Yes, yes, yes. Getting ready. Getting ready. Any pullback now? I'm going. Here we go. Just a bit less than 20 cents, but that was a quick in and out. Nice technical formation. Love this trade. ETSY is not doing as, much, as well as I expected. I'm about to move out of 1,000 shares of my 1,400. It's just going sideways. There's no reason to hold for it. Moving out now. You see, it's just going sideways. It still looks fine, but I moved out at a loss of $291. I still hold 400 shares. I'm up $1,700, and that all happened in 27 minutes. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.